Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2020 Thor Motor Coach Wind Sport Model 33X behind me here. But before we do that, I just wanna say thanks everybody for watching. If you like our videos, give it a quick like. More people will see it that way. Feel free to share it, we appreciate that. If you have not already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter for the latest news and videos. Okay, so back to our vehicle. Again, it is a 2020 Wind Sport 33X built by Thor Motor Coach. Thor Motor Coach is the largest manufacturer of motorhomes in the United States across all their different lines. The Wind Sport is a gasoline powered Class A motorhome. This one here runs $119,000 on sale on our website. They range in size from there's 29 footers up to 34 footers on the Wind Sport. Again, this is the 33X floor plan, which we're gonna take a look at today. I mentioned Ford, it's Ford powered. We've got a Ford motorhome chassis. The only thing they build on this chassis is motorhomes. They have, we've got a Ford V10 with a six speed automatic. If you haven't driven a gasoline powered Ford motorhome lately, they switch from a five speed to a six speed automatic and change the torque a little bit. And you can totally tell the difference. It's actually really, it, it climbs hills better and it cruises better. So take one for a test drive if you haven't lately. Now, also we've got a owning generator on board, 5,500 watts and we've got 80 gallons of gasoline, 60 of which can be used by that generator. And that generator provides us electricity for everything that we need. My point there is folks, you can camp just about anywhere with the Windsport 33X or any other motorhome for that matter with a generator. Now we'll take a little look around the outside first and then we'll go inside. Um, first of all, we've got our night, we've got a TV on the outside. There's a really nice self-supporting power awning up there that doesn't have the extra arms. It's really cool. Um, Below the TV is an actual residential sound bar, which will, we, it's got Bluetooth. We can connect our phone to it and play our music and stuff like that if we're outside and want to do that. Or uh, we can get our TV, you know, the TV sound through it as well. Below that, this is really cool. We've got double door storage here that's actually passed through storage to the other side. This is another thing that we don't always get in a gasoline powered coach is pass through storage. That's great for things like tables and chairs and other things that you can put up underneath there. Also, slam latch doors and they open sideways instead of up. That's all the way down the vehicle guys, because like on the other side, there's some slide outs. And when you've got a storage compartment under a slide out and the door opens up, it makes it very difficult to get in. If it opens to the side, it makes it much, much easier, right? And as we know, storage is always important. You can never have too much storage, even on your way in. There's a little drawer right here for things. I use this drawer for stuff that I need outside, but I just, I'll be going in and out. There's certain items going here. Um, We'll head up in. On the way in, I just want you to notice here that we have a good old fashioned battery disconnect switch, but right next to that is a solar charge controller. So the vehicle, the Windsport 33X has plug and play little ports up on the roof. They've got these really cool new solar panels that these panels are basically they're flexible and they stick down. Uh, you don't even have to drill holes and stuff like that. And it just plugs right in. It's that easy, you guys. There's two ports up there, put two solar panels on the roof your batteries are always charging very, very anytime the sun's out anyway. Uh, even a cloudy day like today, you'll still get it charged. It's pretty cool. Uh, so right up front in the driver's area, we've got the chairs will swivel, okay? And there is a table and pedestal that can go right here where you can face these two chairs or face them out and have a little table in between. The passenger seat here has this, this is a really cool little desk area, right? And then here, the screen, okay, so this is like awesome. This is a humongous screen. This has our AM, FM stereo, of course. It's our camera system is on here. So the vehicle has a rear camera and it's also got turn signal activated side view camera. So when you hit a turn signal, it will give you a camera view down the side of the coach. Also, it's got built-in nav, awesome. In the driver's area, we have things like a generator start stop switch so I can do that without having to get up. I've got my standard Ford steering wheel. If you've ever owned a Ford, this is what your cruise control and turn signals and everything would be like. It'd be very, very familiar to you. Next to that, we've got our mirror controls for power mirrors. We've got heated outside mirrors and we've got the electronic leveling here. So this vehicle has automatic leveling, you guys. Automatic leveling is like worth its weight in gold. You just pull up, you hit a button and four jacks come down and level this coach. Hit another button, the slide outs go out. Hit another button, the awning goes out. You know what I mean? The only thing that doesn't go by the button is whatever you're gonna open next and sit around and relax with. But I mean, I'm telling you, it's just, this is really the next level here. If you have 
been camping maybe and had travel trailers or something and you want to maybe get you're going to keep doing this you want to kind of take it for the next level this might be the way to do it guys um really nice sofa and booth dinette both of these will convert to sleeping and there's actually a bunk up here a bed above the driver's area that comes down on a motor this thing has a 500 pound capacity here so we've got one two three separate sleeping areas up here in addition to the bedroom which we'll see in just a minute first we'll well you can see of course the tv right there across from the sofa where it should be right this is a little thing guys this right here, this is for a child safety latch seat, okay? This is something that you have to have it put in when the vehicle is built, but you can actually properly latch in a car seat right here if you want to. Uh, we got real solid surface countertops. We've got stainless sinks on your mount. This is cool. I mean, it's got a really big range and oven, but it's got a big microwave, right? This is not an RV microwave. This is a residential size microwave. Might be bigger than the one I have at home. Things like the backsplash. This is a real tile grouted backsplash. Keeping with the residential theme, we have a residential refrigerator here. More capacity, doesn't need to be leveled to work properly. Across from that in the hallway, you know, even if you've got a relatively new motorhome and you ask yourself, why would I want to go ahead and get another one at this point in time? Mine's not that old. Well, this is one of those reasons. This little panel right here, this is my master controls for just about everything. You can see my home screen right here. I've got an on off for the lights. I can actually turn all my lights on and off from right here. My monitor panel is here. My tank heater switch is here. My water pump and water heater switches are here. Dual zone climate control. It's a nice day here today. Dual zone climate control. We've got our battery indicator, our generator, and then things like automatic gen start settings. You guys, if you've ever had a motorhome before and tried to set your automatic gen start in one of those little menu driven systems where you're just pushing buttons and trying to read through this flow chart to figure out how to do all this, I can do this without reading the directions. This is awesome. I mean, I can set my times, set my parameters, whatever I want to do. I've got a page here for my lighting. These are dimmable lights as well. I've got my dual zone climate control as well as a fan control. I've got my awning slide out and bunk controls here. So you go to settings here where it says mobile app. Check this out, you guys. We've got, I pick my correct vehicle. I put in my pin number, 111, 111. I like to pick hard ones. Bang, check this out, you guys. Now, there's my climate. There's my lights. I can turn my lights off and on from my phone. You know, this is really cool. Uh, but uh, I guess I can check my tanks. I can turn my generator on and off from right here. So this is, again, Maybe you're asking yourself, why would I want a new one? That'd be a great reason. The bathroom. Okay, so first of all, pocket doors throughout. You know, pocket doors eliminate swinging doors and give us much, much more room. Um, the bathroom has a nice flush porcelain commode. One of the things that I always like to talk about is the amount of counter space that is next to a sink when we have that. Um, and this obviously has a lot. We've got a really nice stand-up corner shower, and we have some additional storage in here as well, you know. Um, it's a... Uh, very, very well done bathroom with lots of room in it, actually. It's very well lit. How many times do you go into a bathroom and it's like a cave in here? You're in your shower, you can't see hardly, you know? We've got a skylight, a vent, and three lights up here. I mean, this bathroom is well lit. That's something that stands out to me. I've been doing this a long time, and that just stood out like, wow, it's actually very well lit. Um, in the bedroom, my goodness gracious, the bedroom is awesome. I mean, right off the bat, you're going to see we have a humongous king bed right here, okay? But storage my gosh we've got hanging storage here dresser storage this has washer dryer prep guys so you can do washer dryer in here if you want or it's more storage 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 right um this storage here okay remember earlier i mentioned that there was a table and pedestal that could go up in between the uh table uh, the two chairs up front there's that table and pedestal it's got a nice little designated storage area you guys this right here the recreational vehicle data cards. If you've ever had a camper before and needed a part for an appliance of some kind, you go up to a parts counter and if you need a part for your stove, they're like, well, what's the model number and serial number of the stove? I mean, you can't get anywhere without this information. Where is that information? Well, it might be on the back side of the thing. You gotta take it halfway out to get to it. Furnaces are really bad about that. This gives you the model number and serial number of all your appliances. It just makes it easier for everybody involved to get you a part. Um, all right, folks, uh, again, Windsport 33X. This is on sale for $119.5, I believe, on our website. You can see some more pictures and things like that. 
Um, if you have, oh, okay. If you want to suggest uh, other uh, vehicles or anything like that for us to do or have other video ideas, please go to the Facebook post and comment on there with any ideas you might have. We'll see what we can do. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.